back on a MT-07. It's a 2022. I bought it used with 600 miles. And, oh shit, I forgot my chin strap. I gotta put that back on. Damn it. Anyways, um, hopefully you can hear me. I'm meeting up with, uh, with Eli. And, um, we're going to, uh, Nantahala Forest in North Carolina. I think it is. I think that's what it's called. But, um, anyways, we're meeting up with uh, other riders, so, uh, it should be fun. I'm not sure how well this, uh, camera holds up. Hopefully, I'll, have, I'll keep an eye on it, but... I don't know if Eli's here yet. But last time... I was riding with uh, Chad, and uh, I haven't had my uh, my new uh, Insta360 camera lenses installed yet. Oh, there's Eli. Lisa's bike. There he is. What's up, Eli? Huh? Okay. Where's he going? What the heck? <laughs> All right. Why well, he did that? Something must have happened. I'm not sure what.
month. It's beautiful out here. So we finally made it to Nantahala Forest. Um, we just got out of a restaurant right on the river. There's like rapids on the right here. People go kayaking and stuff. But um, So we have Annabelle on a Triumph Truxton 900. Jake in front of me right here with a Jigster 1000 RR. I'm on a Yamaha MT-07. Behind me we have Eli with the Ninja 650. And behind him we have uh, Joe with the um, in Interceptor, I think it's called. It's an 800 seat. Oh, yeah. Moment, son. We're just going to run to the bridge to take a photo. All right. <laughs> Look at this crazy shit. This is what bikers do in the mountains. <laughs> Go on random ass adventures on bridges. <laughs> Crazy. in advance if it's too windy um, this helmet that I'm using does not have a wind curtain like a chin curtain I mean to block the wind so hopefully it's not too bad but if it is then I guess I'll drown it out with some music or something <laughs> this is my uh, Navi helmet but um probably going to have to do what I always do whenever I get a new bike. I always get a helmet. It's like a tradition of mine. But, um, so yeah, for those that are new to my channel, um, I basically make motorcycle content just for fun, okay? I'm not doing this for money or, you know, subscribers or likes or whatever. This is just what I love to do. It's my passion. I love motorcycles and riding motorcycles and anything motorcycle related. My favorite thing in the world. And today, I'm happy to be on my new MT-07 um, that I just purchased. And uh, in the past of my channel, I've had, uh, had a Grom. That's when I started my uh, channel with. But uh, I had to take down a lot of Grom videos, so I had to take those videos down. You know the deal. But um, 
Um, I also had a Yamaha TW200, which I no longer have, which is sad and unfortunate, but in order to move, I had to sell it. Woo, got some bikes here. But, um, that's okay. I plan on having multiple bikes in the future, so. Right now, like, right now I just have my, uh, my Honda Navi and my MT-07, but I might pick up a dual sport or possibly a Grom. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. I even thought about the idea of putting, uh, like, 70-30 tires on this thing. That way I can go on some gravel roads also, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I might. I think we're, uh, we're following Annabelle's path. She's the leader of the pack today. Um, she's pretty freaking badass. Dude. She has her. She has a Triumph Truxton 900. She rides, and uh, she's definitely not afraid to ride that damn thing. She's kind of crazy. <laughs> Damn, I wish my sister was up here. She'd love this shit. I think Annabelle and my sister, um, they have a lot in common. One day when, uh, my sister's up here with MTO3, that'd be cool. bikes out. Oh, that was sick. River crossing. So beautiful here. Look at this canopy. There's a river on the west side of us. Ah, temperatures just dropped like crazy too, by the way. It's one thing up here in the mountains, man. Temperature and weather can change fast. The forest definitely holds in the, the moisture and the cold air. And then when you get out in the open, it's sunny but windy. <laughs> Exhaust, but uh, it's actually the stock exhaust, but I did a little mod to it. So, you know, I'll have a uh, so I used to have the FC07 Yamaha, and uh, it's basically the first gen MG07, but uh, in the states they call it the FC07s. But um, on that bike, I had an M4 carbon exhaust carbon fiber and um, I plan on getting another M4 or hopefully something similar to that but yeah I miss the sound of that damn bike so much this one sounds pretty good too though it's just not as loud I guess not as uh you know dirty <laughs> not bad though oh damn we got a big ass rock so I'm amazed by the, these rocks and shit. We don't have stuff like that in Florida. Uh, I'm always... That's what I'm thinking. There's up here, like, I'm focusing on turns and, like, quartering and stuff, but the beauty out here is, like, makes me break my neck. It's like, damn. I can't get over all the rocks and waterfalls and... I don't know. We have elk. 
like crazy ass animals and it's just awesome. I'm still not get, I'm still getting used to this bike. Um not used to these stock handlebars. Uh, I plan on putting the uh Per tapered Carmichael bars that I used to have on my FZ07. Plan on putting some of these those on here and R612 to you. Basically, all the shit I used to have, but on a newer NT07. Oh man, this is so gorgeous out here. I couldn't ask for a better, for better day than this. I feel blessed. I definitely feel blessed to be out here riding with a group of friends on a beautiful day. Doesn't get better than this. Well, I guess it could, but I'm not sure how. <laughs> Maybe if I got paid to do it, that'd be even better, I guess. <laughs> but honestly, I mean, I can't quit. This is about the coolest shit I've done in many years. I'll be making more videos, hopefully, uh, more often now. Uh, whoa, shit, that was a hard ass turn. Caught up on me. Crossing the river. I want to make a video at the BRP. Oh my god. Blue Ridge Parkway is so gorgeous. I mean, it's like, it's basically you're, you're riding a motorcycle in heaven. <laughs> I mean, that's how I imagine it at least. Find a boat, motorcycle shaker. That's so fucking awesome. I, I like, I'm like mind blown by that shit. I wonder if Annabelle has a sister or something. <laughs> or hell, even though, like a friend. I need to, I need to talk to. She. Having a motorcycle girlfriend must be badass. We go on trips and ride. Look at that shit. Waterfalls. What the hell, dude? That's sick. I think that'd be the only thing, like the icing on the cake, you know? Woo! Man! Yeah, the torque on these bikes are sick. I love it. I know there's other bikes that are more torque, but dude, this thing is fucking beast. I feel like I'm riding a bull with this damn thing. I love it. I love the torque. Low end power is badass. I'm not really into speed. I know, like, I had a Yamaha R6 and that thing would smoke this uh, top speed wise, but man, off the line, this thing got a serious punch. I just fucking love it. Oh man, it sounds ridiculous too. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. It reminds me of like a muscle car. That's another good thing with this bike over my FZ07. This one has ABS, which for stunning sucks, but um, but um, braking definitely helps. I can tell when uh, when I have to hit the brakes really hard. Oh my god, here's that beautiful lake. Look at this. You can see it through the camera, but it is insane. It's beautiful. Here we go. Let's see if you can get a look at it. Someone on a jet ski out there? Man, I bet that water's cold though. so fucking blessed to be riding out here like this. Oh shoot, I keep cussing. I'm trying not to cuss, but... Oops, big guy, I'm gonna slow down. Uh, this is why 
I love this bike because I can go on like bird trips. I can blast around town if I want. It's like the perfect power range in my opinion for me. Um, it's just fun. I love the balance of, on these bikes. They're so well balanced. It's ridiculous. Okay, these ABS shit, that is badass. How do you like that ABS? Some of these corners, dude, if I had my, my, uh, if I had Carly, my FZ07, oh my god, I'd be sliding that back in the road. <laughs> There's no way, dude. ABS is like cheating, though. I don't know if that's a. I don't know. I've never. I guess I've had my Ninja 300 at EBS, but um, I feel like I feel like that's kind of cheating, man. Like I feel more confident with ABS, and I definitely feel safer, especially with wet roads. But um, that's cheating, man. I think a true rider needs to have the full experience of without ABS, like for a genuine motorcycle feel. It's kind of like I guess that's kind of how I feel about like uh, cars with tectonic shifting over a manual, a full actual standard manual transmission car. It's kind of like that. It's like, I don't know. It's cheating. <laughs> it's like, too good. like a dream. If you ever get a chance to ride out here, do it. Life's too short to fucking drive boring ass cars and windy roads everywhere. It's like, it's just gorgeous. Oh, happy Mother's Day, by the way, to all you uh, hot mamas out there. I forgot to mention that. Though. The guy in front of me, Eli, and uh, Jake, the guy in front of him, they both want Groms, and there's a couple others at, at my work, uh, they want Groms too, it's like, shit, it makes me think, man, maybe I should get another Grom, you know, just for a uh, side bitch, you know, just for fucking around, I don't know, but at the same time, it's like, I have this, so I don't really need a Grom, you know, although, Groms have, they have their own purpose, purpose, you know? I don't know. What you guys think? Should I get a Grom? Should I get a dual sport? Or should I just keep what I have and enjoy what I have? And if I do get a Grom, I think I'd get the, the new ones. Um, the 2025 Groms that are coming out. They look so much cooler, in my opinion. I feel like my battery's about to shut off, but uh couldn't resist and turn it back on real quick. This uh just got out of the mountains I think. So apparently we're at the loafer to the dragon. There you go. 
Oh god. <laughs> yeah, so I definitely ran out of uh memory. No, battery on the uh Insta360, so now I'm using my phone. But we just passed the Kulasaga Falls. Oh, hell, what does it matter? Do what? Oh, yeah. Huh.